Staying safe while enjoying your socially distanced Thanksgiving holiday. It's not just COVID-19 that you need to watch out for these days. According to the Nevada Office of Traffic Safety, so far this year, Nevada has seen 252 deaths on state roadways. One of the main causes for these deadly crashes is impaired drivers. And joining us now live to talk about this is Nevada Office of Traffic Safety Public Information Officer Andrew Bennett. I don't believe we've ever talked about the problem of impaired drivers before, Andrew, and, I, and I'm being facetious to make a point. What's it going to take to solve this? Exactly, and, and this is why we have to continue to talk about this exact problem is unfortunately people continue to drive impaired and we see examples and we hear these stories almost every single day to the point where we absolutely have to talk about this and the message we're getting out to the public is make your plan ahead because we will heavily be enforcing the law this weekend and as we end the year. So, so it's, it's really a cultural thing. We just have to keep saying it over and over and over until it becomes... Uh, just part of our own mantra. I, you know, education is definitely part of it, but you know, at the end of the day, DUI is a crime that affects every single person. You know, we see folks living out of their car making the decision to drive impaired, or we see, you know, the top of society, you know, driving impaired. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, people have to make the right decision and understand it might not just be the jail time or the fine. You might take someone's life, and that's what's absolutely important to us is that we keep our people safe. And that under, people understand that the number one threat to them and their families on any given day right. is the threat of an impaired driver on our roadways. Uh, is the incidence of impairment due to marijuana going up? Uh, so this is a question that we often receive when we talk about, you know, has it changed over the last three years? The answer is we still see the same amount of impaired driving related fatalities, which is about 52%. The most prevalent cause of impaired driving with the substance is a combination between alcohol and marijuana. Hmm. It's not just marijuana, it's not just alcohol, it's that poly substance use between the two. Yeah. You guys recently changed your, your motto. Explain that, will you? Why did you make the change? So we, over the last decade, we had used Drive Safe Nevada. And as you just heard on your broadcast, you know, we unfortunately have a specifically high number of pedestrian related fatalities on our roadways. So number one, we wanted to make sure that our tagline represented the traveling public and not just uh, occupants of motor vehicles. And number two, you know, we chose lives are on the line to show the sense of urgency that we all have to have when it comes to roadway fatalities. There's several different leading, you know, efforts across the country, including the pandemic that's taking the attention away uh, from traffic safety. So we need to make sure that we have that prevalence and we appreciate, you know, this opportunity to talk about it. You know, I don't think most of us think of Thanksgiving as a, a high crash or a fatality time on the roadways. I, is it? Unfortunately, last year was an exception. We had four fatalities just in the 24 hours of Thanksgiving Day alone. And that was more than the last five years combined. And so we hope to reverse that trend and to have a zero fatalities Thanksgiving. We've done it several times over the last years, but 2019 was the exception. And we hope to not to repeat that again this year. All right, Traffic Public Information Safety Officer Andrew Bennett, thanks again. Let's just keep talking about it, okay? Thank you so much, Dave. All right, thanks.